How to install Windows 11 on an unsupported computer. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 on an unsupported computer. Now do note, I will be using my ThinkPad T470, which of course is unsupported and all the relevant links are in the description of this video. So here it is, as you can see right now, I am running Windows 10 on my ThinkPad T470 and this here is i5-6300 CPU which of course is not supported and here it is I am running Windows 10 Pro as well. Next thing you need to do is you need to go to the official website of Microsoft and from here end we are going to download the ISO. So once you are on the website you need to scroll down and here in once you reach the section of download Windows 11 disk image ISO tap on this drop down and select Windows 11 now tap on download and then it will ask you to choose a product language now do note the language needs to be the one which you are using right now on your computer so if you do not know how do you find it out well tap on this search on the bottom left besides the windows icon and here in you need to type in region once you type in region select region settings and as you can see my current country is set as united states and the language is set as english united states so we can go back to the Microsoft official website from wherein we are going to download it. So herein in my case I am going to select English and if you are using say Chinese select Chinese and once you select English all you have to do is confirm it and then it will give you the option of downloading the 64-bit Windows 11 ISO and just tap on this it is going to download the ISO and of course you do need to have 64-bit computer for this purpose now to make our job easier i have already downloaded the iso and here is the iso for us and another thing before i forget the iso is somewhere around 5.1 gb so make sure you have enough data and enough storage on your device now the next thing we need to do is we need to do some registry hacks on windows tap on this search again on the bottom left and here in type in r e g e d i t so it is going to open something like registry editor now it might say that you need to have admin access and if you get a pop-up regarding that just select yes now once you open the windows registry editor you will be on a screen like this herein the next thing we need to do is we need to go to a specific path and again the path is in this text file which is linked in the description of the video so select this path and right click highlight everything and say copy once that is done go back to your windows registry editor here in on this top bar select everything and then press the backspace on your keyboard to delete everything then right click and say paste so this is going to paste the path we have just copied and then press the enter key so now we are in the specific path where we have to be next thing we need to do is we need to create a new value over here and give it a name so again this is the name of the value highlight everything and say copy then we can go back to our registry editor left click on this pane over here and then right click say new select d word 32 bit value here and it is asking us the name of the value everything is highlighted press the backspace on your keyboard and then right click and say paste and then press the enter key so basically we just renamed the new d word value which we had created now by default this has the value as zero so all you need to do is double click on this value data change this to one leave this as hexadecimal and select ok and bam there it is you can see the value has now changed to one and at this point feel free to close your registry editor in case you feel like doing so now once that is done you have made the registry edits and you have also downloaded the iso you need to go to the location of the iso by default it will be in the downloads folder and here is the iso all you need to do is right click on this and say mount now once you mount this you will see the contents and now installation is as easy as double clicking on this setup.exe it might say that you know microsoft windows publisher information it wants to make changes to your device select yes 
Now, once we are on this Windows 11 setup screen, all we are going to say is next over here, it is going to check for updates. And there it is, we now have the applicable notice and license terms. All you need to say is accept and now it is checking for updates. Again, this might take some time, so you have to be patient. And now that it has checked for updates, we are now getting the message that make sure you are ready to install. This may take a few minutes, please wait. And as you can see, it is now giving us an error message that our PC does not meet the requirements and that we might not get future updates on Windows 11. All you need to do over here is select accept. And at this point, it is ensuring that there is enough space and we are now getting the message that we won't be able to use our PC during the installation. Everything has been checked and all you need to do now is select install on the bottom right. And there it is, you can see it is now installing Windows 11. It is telling me that it is going to reboot multiple times. So again, make sure you have connected your laptop if you're using one to the charger so that the battery does not run out while it is installing. And next, I will be back once the installation process is done. And this here is the new Windows 11 UI. Let us go ahead and check if there was any data loss. So no, all my files are still here, which does include the Ubuntu ISO and Windows ISO as well. And there it is beeps. That is how you install Windows 11 on an unsupported computer without any data loss. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.